Ever wondered how password attacks work? Well, let's start from the beginning. A password attack is essentially an attempt to crack or otherwise bypass a password to gain unauthorized access to a system or account. It's like a high-tech lock picking where the lock is your password and the pick is a combination of cunning, software, and sometimes just a little bit of luck. Now, password attacks aren't all the same. In fact, there are several different types, each with their own unique approach. Some might try every possible combination until they stumble upon the right one, while others might take a more cunning approach, trying to trick you into giving your password away. But no matter the method, the goal is always the same, to gain access to something that they're not supposed to. It's a fascinating, if somewhat unnerving, aspect of the digital world we live in. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of password attacks. Did you know there are several types of password attacks? You might be surprised to learn just how many ways there are that hackers can crack your password. Let's delve into three of the most common types. Brute force attacks, dictionary attacks, and rainbow table attacks. First, we have brute force attacks. Picture a burglar trying every single key on a massive key ring to open a door. That's essentially what a brute force attack is. Hackers use software to try every possible combination of characters until they find the one that unlocks your password. It's a slow, labor-intensive process, but with a powerful enough computer, it can be surprisingly effective. Next up, we have dictionary attacks. This isn't about attacking your Merriam-Webster. Instead, hackers use a dictionary of common words, phrases, and number combinations. The software cycles through this list, trying each entry until it finds a match. It's faster than a brute force attack, but less comprehensive. If your password is something unusual, a dictionary attack might not crack it. Finally, we have the rainbow table attack. Now, this isn't about hackers throwing colorful parties. A rainbow table is a pre-computed table for reversing cryptographic hash functions. In simpler terms, it's a cheat sheet that hackers can use to quickly find a password without having to compute every possibility. It's like having the answers to a test before you even sit down, so we have brute force attacks which are like trying every key on a key ring, we have dictionary attacks which are like trying only the most common keys, and we have rainbow table attacks which are like having a cheat sheet for the test. Each method has its strengths and weaknesses, and hackers will choose their approach based on a variety of factors. Now that we know the different types of password attacks, how do they actually work? But that's a topic for our next scene. Stay tuned to learn more about the inner workings of these password cracking methods. It's time to unravel the mystery of how password attacks work. Let's start with a dictionary attack. It's as simple as it sounds. In a dictionary attack, an attacker uses a list of commonly used passwords, much like words in a dictionary. This list could include passwords like password123 or QWERTY. It's quite surprising how often these basic passwords unlock the door. Next, we have the brute force attack. This is the digital equivalent of trying every possible key on a keychain. The attacker systematically checks all possible passwords until the correct one is found. It sounds tedious, doesn't it? But with the help of powerful computers, this process can be surprisingly fast, especially if the password is short or simple. Now, on to the more sophisticated method the rainbow table attack. Here, attackers use a table of pre-computed hash values for potential passwords. Think of it as a cheat sheet that pairs potential passwords with their corresponding hash values. It's a shortcut that saves the attacker from having to calculate the hash of each guess, speeding up the process significantly. And lastly, we have credential stuffing. This is when attackers use previously breached data from one site on other sites, banking on the fact that many of us reuse passwords. It's like using the same key for your house, car, and office. Behind all of these attacks are software tools that automate the process, enabling attackers to test millions of passwords in a blink of an eye. And yes, even complex passwords can be cracked with enough time and computational power. It's a constant game of cat and mouse between cybersecurity professionals and these attackers. By now, you might be wondering how can you protect yourself from these attacks? Protection from password attacks is crucial in today's digital age. Even as we dive deeper into the world of digital connectivity, ensuring the safety of our personal and professional information remains paramount. So how can we shield ourselves from password attacks? The first step is to create strong, unique passwords. A strong password is like a sturdy lock on the door of your digital life. 
It should be a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. The longer, the better. And remember, each of your accounts deserves a unique password. Reusing passwords is like using the same key for every door. If one gets compromised, they all do. Next, enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. This adds an extra layer of security requiring not only your password, but also a second piece of information that only you have access to. It's like having a security guard in addition to your sturdy lock. Lastly, be wary of phishing attempts. Sophisticated cybercriminals might try to trick you into giving them your password. They might send you an email that looks like it's from a trusted source, but when in doubt, don't click. Contact the source directly instead. Building a habit of digital safety can be as simple as these three steps. Strong, unique passwords, two-factor authentication, and a healthy dose of skepticism towards unexpected communications. Remember, your password is your first line of defense against cyber attacks. Let's quickly revisit what we've covered today. We've delved into the world of password attacks, exploring their various forms from brute force to dictionary attacks. We've also uncovered the mechanics behind these cyber threats, shedding light on just how they manage to compromise your security. Most importantly, we've provided you with essential tips on how to fortify your defenses, ensuring your personal data remains under lock and key. Stay safe and remember to always keep your passwords secure.